One of the biggest questions for many tennis enthusiasts, many amateurs, many club level players is should I buy a new tennis racket, a new modern tennis racket? Should I switch from my beloved 10 year old or 15 year old tennis racket to today's modern tennis racket? And the answer is, well, stay tuned for more. Oh, what's that? Oh, I have a new member on the Buy Me A Coffee platform. Yes, first member Melvin L. Chunk became a member. Thank you, Michal. Your videos are informative, kind of quirky and funny. Enjoyable. Nazdravi. Yeah, it's in Czech. Nazdravi. It means cheers. Nazdravi from Los Angeles. MLC. Oh. Thanks, Melvin L. Chunk. Guys, I have a new member, first member on the Buy Me A Coffee platform. Thank you, Melvin, so much. So, hello, tennis guys, and welcome to my channel. So, one of the biggest questions when we are buying new stuff, new things, new products, and we are talking about tennis rackets, because I'm a tennis guy, obviously. We are not talking about, let's say, knives or shoes or boots or t-shirts but tennis rackets and tennis rackets and and and, and this this is particularly very important for conservative people who like to stick to a product that they love that works for them and they don't want to change they don't want to change for a new thing because they are afraid that it will not work for them. It will get worse and they don't want to adapt to new things. So, so this is very, very important for conservative people. And I know there is many of you who love their 10 year, 15, 20 year old rackets because you know them. You know them very well throughout the years, so you have been playing with them, you have been growing with them, you have been, you have been, get, you have get, you have got better when playing with these rackets. And now we are in 2022, and everyone is, everyone around you is buying new tennis rackets, and and there is this history and this chaos and this, let's say, manipulation and there are lots of reviewers out there i'm here there are many other guys on youtube that are saying this great racket you should buy this racket and this racket and this racket guys calm down relax take a deep breath analyze think twice before you buy a tennis racket because not always the switch will work for you but at the end of the day, my recommendation and what I believe is that today's modern tennis rackets will work for you better than the 20, 25 year old rackets. And there are numerous reasons for that. And one of the reasons that we, we are constantly forgetting and I'm forgetting that and, and many people are forgetting that, that you and I, we are not getting younger. We are getting older. Every day we wake up, we are one day older. We are not getting younger. In some things we are getting, let's say, better. We are getting more experienced. We understand more the game. But we are not getting probably more flexible. We are not getting probably more stronger. We are not getting probably more faster. And we are actually getting a little bit worse. Admit it or not. If you are someone like I am, who has been playing tennis since four years old, now I'm 38, that is 34 years 
with a tennis racket in hand and it has and it has cost me so much energy throughout those years and I've never experienced let's say getting up in the morning and having a sore back sore legs never ever but now when I'm 38 it is coming it is there and I'm like what the hell is happening with me I've been fit all my life and now I'm let's say deteriorating I'm just getting older and older and if you admit this to yourself that's the first step admitting to yourself you are not getting actually better you are getting more experienced and with that in mind you are on a good way to buy a new tennis racket because the new tennis rackets are more comfortable they are easier to play with they help you to create energy they help you to control the ball a little bit more they help you to play more precise and it's not that you are cheating you are not cheating you are just using the things that are on the market and even though let's say for some people it might sound like you are cheating so for example when the new tennis string was introduced the polyester tennis strings there were many people many tennis professionals who were saying like well this with playing with these strings is like cheating so when there was the luxilon they were calling it cheetalon and it was it was the time where the, where there was a, a guga yeah famous spin uh, famous spin machine great guy very funny guy great tennis player sent uh, clay court player and uh, these these more these small evolutionary steps lead to our thoughts that we are actually getting lazier and that is also true we move less throughout the day and we move more intensive when we have the time we have very short period of time during the day when we can really move and be let's say aggressive in our movements in our um, let's say fitness because most of us or many of us are working in an office we are just sitting there whole day and then after the work you jump on the court and you are like crazy and you want to perform like like the best player in the world and these modern rackets will going to help you with that to feel the sensation otherwise you will you will end up feeling like I don't have power for the racket the racket is too stiff the racket is too let's say unforgiving yeah I'm talking about the 25 year old sticks so these are all the things you need to count in so uh, I advise you guys when you are afraid to buy a new racket new tennis racket new modern racket don't be afraid don't be afraid to switch this isn't quite unusual Wilson Pro Staff it is called Pro Staff Graphite Pro Staff Graphite SL with a very thick beam don't don't be afraid to switch it for let's say for this artengo with this thin beam I bet you this even though it looks more let's say professional it is more forgiving than the old Wilson Pro Staff quite an unusual guys I'm not sure what is this racket there are no specs on it so if you know it just leave me a comment and yeah I just bought it on 
on online from some guy because I was really curious what is this racket all about and I didn't I didn't hit with it I measured the weight and swing weight but I will tell you about it in some other video so don't be afraid to put away your older sticks and change them for the newer ones that will give you that sensation and that will let's say uh, help you to stay in the game and to be as competitive as possible because that's what we what, what we want what we like about doing sports about doing about playing tennis that we not only have fun but we uh, we can live the life like uh, we can win we can win something we can win sometimes because in lots of cases we are losing and losing this and losing there and and then tennis gives us the sensation that we can be the masters of our situation of of our life so that's that's why people have hobbies that's why we have hobbies because we are controlling the situation no, no one is controlling us because when we are at work we are doing what the boss says do this do that, that blah, blah, blah. i don't want to do that but i need the money so most of the time in our lives we feel let's say under pressure and this can give us the freedom essentially tennis give, gives us freedom so give yourself a little bit of freedom when we when you are buying a new tennis racket don't be too harsh on yourself like i don't deserve a new tennis racket i need to stick with my 20 year old stick because it is better well you were probably 15 years old or 20 years old so yeah the racket was great but now when you are 40 the racket is maybe uh, too harsh for your arm and i forgot one thing the third thing i forgot to mention and that is super super important and i know this video is getting longer and longer and i i can talk about this topic like a whole day because it is super interesting the third point and it is probably probably one of the, the mo most important things is that tennis got much faster it's super fast it's super aggressive i know that the balls got a little bit let's say slower because a few years ago the tennis was too fast actually it was too uninteresting maybe because it was like three three four uh three four uh, balls over the net and then was the winner or a mistake unforced error and the officials just wanted to make the tennis more interesting so they slowed down the the courts the courts are slower than let's say 10 years ago or 15 years ago the grass courts on in wimbledon are slower the hard courts are slower the surface is a little bit different it's, it's slower than it was the balls are a little bit slower but overall tennis as we know more and more about how things work and we are getting new strings and new technologies it's getting actually very fast it's faster it's more aggressive uh, people are actually nowadays superhumans compared to to tennis players uh, 25 years ago because everything that is new the new technologies they are adding to the performance i forgot to mention shoes super important part of a tennis player's equipment so everything this and this is adding to the feel like we need to catch up with the pace and the performance and we can do that only by buying new tennis rackets but I totally agree with people who just want to enjoy the game 
and have that let's say old school feel people they that don't rush anywhere people that that they, they want to stay in the moment stay in the in the feeling like 25 years ago i know that these people they will stay with their records but for other people who want to catch up with all the let's say uh hype that is going going on around tennis rackets just try new rackets try them before you buy them talk about them with your friends with your coach with other players with your opponents with your friends with your mother with your father with your cousin with your brother with your uncle yeah with your neighbor okay guys so just talk about the things you like and as always enjoy tennis every time every day because tennis is freedom it is our hobby and that's what we are really looking forward each day after work when we are rushing to the course oh wow now i have the freedom now i can do what i want yeah that's great so guys so this was the topic about the tennis rackets about the modern tennis rackets why you should not be afraid to switch why you should switch probably and why it is perfectly normal to switch to newer tennis rackets because of the many things i just explained in this video so guys thank you very much for watching if you want to support my channel greatly just buy me a coffee buy me a coffee the link is below in the description and you can become a member okay like the guy i've mentioned in the beginning and if you want to support my channel greatly you can buy this t-shirt serena williams and also i have the roger federer but i don't know where roger is where he has gone yeah he's probably sipping a beer and, and and with his with his wife and he's enjoying the life because he has ended his career recently yeah we know fedex enjoy enjoy tennis and enjoy the beer finally you can so guys if you want to support my channel and you don't want to buy me a coffee or buy any of these t-shirts just write me a comment subscribe share the videos that is also support that is greatly appreciated and as always enjoy tennis play tennis every time every day and don't forget to enjoy the menu thanks for watching and i will catch you in my next video bye guys Serious, man. You cannot be serious. That ball was on the line.